Till the end, they near end of 2023, and so for that whole time, of us growing closer and closer, it was just annoying that we didn't stay in the same place. It's annoying that we had to leave each other's, you know, presence, all the time. Yeah, yeah. go back home. Um, like this is my favorite person, so I, I'm tired. I was tired of leaving her all the time. I was just so dead. So I'm glad, I'm glad I get to wake up next to her, wake up, and she's there, she's in the house. I'm glad I get to, you know, kiss her on the cheek goodbye every morning for work. Like, I love that stuff. Uh, I love that. I didn't know you was going to be saying all that. Well, you, I'm trying to be Jean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. You're so sweet. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Uh, but no, so yeah, I just, I love her presence, and uh, you know, I enjoy being married. There's so many perks to it. Well, I can go further in detail, but then I'll be answering some more questions. As well. <laughs> Do you like being married? Yes. You sure? Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean to pause. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, mean, I don't understand. You know, you're stuck here. That's, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> but I'm going to make sure that turns into a certified yes. <laughs> that's really funny. I didn't mean to pause. I'll... Yeah. Anyway, yes, I love it. It's just been a... Um... I feel like I'm still, like, I will say, I feel like for me, it's not something just for, like, context. Marriage, for me, it was coming from something. I, I was coming from a place of not wanting that. Um, and so I feel like I'm consistently, like, finding new reasons to just love it more. Kind of like, that's honestly the trajectory of our relationship and that, how that went, too. Like, pre-marriage, just, like, us getting together. Um, he was pursuing me, and I was like, I don't want, I don't want that right now, <laughs> but, um, and then I just grew to love him more. Um, but yeah, I feel like kind of s in a similar way, I feel like my love for our marriage is growing too. Like just, just yesterday, I guess we had a, a, a good time. Um, we were, what did we do yesterday? I think it was just today is Sunday. So maybe I'm thinking of Friday. Um, it was the end of the week. Um, we had did something. I can't remember what it was. Um, but we had like completed something. We finished our work or whatever. Um, when we went home, we got some drinks, we ate food. I and mean, we just, we like vibing, we put music on. We kind of were just intentionally, you know, just like setting the vibes. It's those nights like that where I'm just like, this is nice. And then the next morning, like we got up and went to the grocery store. It was Saturday morning. So, you know, it was kind of peaceful and just nice. Those are the best. So I'm just like, it was, I told, I think I told you, I was like, this is, this is wonderful. You ever just like, look up in the moment you're like this is really nice no moments like that i feel like continue to make me you know love this more i'm just like this is this is great uh, all right how have your experiences socially <laughs> you skipped the question so, oh <laughs> so, i didn't know this was floating in the air i thought that was a title floating in the air that's your view of you change oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number two for you. Come on! <laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't want you to edit five hours. How has your view you. of me changed since we've been married? Hmm. I don't know if 
I feel like it has. I'm trying to think. Mm. Like my view of you, it makes me think of like my opinion of you. Mm. Like so, I, I I could say I feel like you know I love you more. Like we're growing in love, but I don't consider that to technically be my view of you. Sure. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna just say that. Wow. <laughs> short answer. It's gonna be a very short video. Uh, <laughs> that now that one's one thing it won't be because we talk too much and laugh too much. How has your view of me? if it has changed since being married. Can we pause? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those questions where I'm you like, gotta I think. Gotta think. Yeah, make a stop. I don't have an answer for <laughs> the second question. Next, how have your social experiences changed since being married? Like between others, between people? Yeah, so I guess to explain, like y'all ever heard somebody talk about how, I don't know, when you get married, your friends treat you different or look at you different or your friend groups change, whatever. None of that has really changed as far as just like how people interact with me per se. I mean, there's a little things like people say that I'm married or mention it, bring it up more but it's nothing like it's just they bring it up as a joke or like well, how's life been since you've been married it's really not, no huge difference but i will say that i have a lot of married friends due to me and kaya having friends that are older than us so all that to say is that like you know i do kind of feel like i am able to relate to them more now being married and being a husband you know they can pour into me even more conversations change a little bit what about you babe yeah i was really trying to think so i could have something to start around yeah. but i feel like more more often now people just it, it's kind of it gives people another category to talk about so like it changed in terms of like our conversation because a lot of my friends like ask me questions or us questions honestly like we get so many questions like just about like what's it like being married you like, get more questions than i do i feel like yeah women be like yeah <laughs> they yeah. be want to know which is valid it's just interesting um yeah yeah how you know people ask now about like what's it like or what honestly like for advice you know like what they should do sometimes it's not always that but you know it's just you know they have questions about certain aspects of marriage like leading up to marriage you know all that good stuff that started once we got engaged <laughs> mm -hmm. there is a subtle shift in like expectations so like now versus before people take i feel like your marriage into account when it comes to like planning mm -hmm. for things um, cause now it's like, I, I feel like it's a bit easier. Like people give you more grace than a single yeah, person. Forgot about that. Cause they know that you're married and like newly married. What if you even have a girlfriend, a boyfriend? It's yeah. Like, uh, yeah. It's not the same level of priority. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like in our experience, especially like if you're a Christian, like in the church, like people are like, you know, this is your marriage. This is time that you should devote to like really, um, you know prioritizing your spouse of course and so when it comes to like planning events or whatever you know people might be quick to be like you know it's okay if you can't come understand you know newly married all that you know, like, you know the people just be saying stuff like that i will say that like mm -hmm. when i was i was kind of in my I don't know about you, but we were MIA yeah. for a while, for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> so, chill, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for the most part, like from all of our friends that like, you know, don't live here or uh, even live here and I just haven't spoken to them in a minute. But 90% of them have just been understanding and mm -hmm. the fact that like, hey, you're married. I understand. I get it. Yeah, and there's been other stuff. You coming. just got married. Yeah, yeah, as much stuff. I feel like it was like, yeah, that was like a deeper um, time, grief and stuff. Yeah. But no, nah, but I will say, yeah, like just people who haven't talked to me, it's like, nah, bro, I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. I get it. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will say that too. Mm -hmm. So, what does doing look mm -hmm. like? What? <laughs> Dating. Dating. No, where are you at? This one. Oh, so uh, I had a question for you this time. Who Wait, does? sorry, pause. What? I don't want you to say that every time. Like, I don't want you to do a transition every time. Yeah. Because it can just, it could, like, it breaks the attention, you know, people. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Just ask the question. All right. Just asking the question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Babe, who does all the housework? Be real with me, man. <laughs> you ain't gotta, like, you ain't gotta, like. I know. You know, yeah. sugarcoat. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> But like in your answer and start some grace <laughs> honestly i feel like it's like doing most of the housework i feel like that question implies that like one person does most of it yeah. i feel like we're i do feel like i do a little more but that's like mm -hmm. little more like we're mostly really even uh, especially after this weekend <laughs> mm -hmm. he did a lot oh, this weekend yeah. yeah right yeah and i got you some some 
some points. Yeah. He like washed all my clothes. And if you know me, like, I mean, you think, when I, when I say a lot of clothes, I have a lot of clothes. Um, like, yeah, it's crazy. I feel like I do a little more. Like if I had to put a percentage on it, like, I wouldn't even say 60, 40, maybe like 55, 45, maybe 60, 40. Mm. Like, cause there's like a lot of little things that I feel like I do on a regular. Like I wash our towels most often, like our shower curtain or our sheets and like take care of stuff in the kitchen, just little things that like keep track of like the groceries and all that stuff. Um, like soaps and stuff are stocked and like stuff like that, like regular maintenance stuff. I be feeling like I do, um, but he helps a lot. It's pretty much like, I would say well distributed. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like there's a caveat you should be inserting there. <laughs> Which is? <laughs> All right, so I feel like the caveat is. What's I, the caveat? I appreciate, you, I appreciate you giving me my flowers, but I want to say, <laughs> yes, Kai cleans a little bit more. Okay? Oh, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> she's also, like, dirty. <laughs> so, like, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Kai be blowing her nose. Yeah. 25-8, yeah. right? And so anywhere yeah. she goes, she might leave some tissues there. <laughs> Where she left, okay? and so that area that was perfectly clean is now uh, not as clean. Perfectly uh, clean. Yeah. Uh, okay. Perfectly. Uh, Crazy. <laughs> so I just like to put that caveat. I I don't. I'm not as dirty per se. Like dirty as yeah, my yeah. wife. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Now so, don't yeah. go twisting stuff thinking saying I'm dirty, but I right. do. I I am like that person. Like I'm not super cleanly in terms of like. You know, some people I just, I don't know if I want to say cleanly because that sounds like I'm saying I'm dirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm saying I'm not very organized. <laughs> Let's say that. Yeah, because I, I, yeah, like some people I really like keep things in the right spot all the time. Like just organized and like, you know, don't, not very messy. Yeah, not me. <laughs> I love me. Yeah. But I do like having a clean space. And so it just causes like clean up. And also clean up for me, more. like. I think I can, unless it's real bad, I can stay in a house that's like kind of not super. Yeah, together. Not, like I feel yeah, like my also, like, tolerance you're... for that yeah. may be a little high. Yeah, yeah. At least with the kitchen. Yeah. The well, because I, I feel like, like we're both messy, Loki. Like in a general yeah. sense, like that's clothes everywhere. Yeah. You know, dishes might stack up a little bit. For me, like yeah, I think I might like my. I have a lot of clothes, so that ends up probably more around. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also, I don't know, like, we both, our clothes both be everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's really like the tissues. I feel like that's the edge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what puts you on top. But we're both messy. <laughs> yeah. We are both messy. Yeah. Yeah. To some nitty gritty. What's the most challenging thing, or if you have a couple things, that's cool. What's the most challenging about being married? Take all of me not to joke, but I'm not going to Making time for the people who've been one. Yeah, that's top. Uh, you know, we didn't used to be together twenty five eight. Not for real, for real. Not all the time. Mm -hmm. It's more like you know, twenty four seven. But it wasn't twenty five eight, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and so, uh, but point is though, we live together, wake up next to each other, see each other, we back from work every single day, and that's cool. I mean, it's my best friend. Would rather do it with her than anybody else. And I didn't do all that. Like, I would, you know, if I went with Kai, I would be by myself, hang out with some friends here and there. But, like, you know, I kind of, sometimes I recharge just by myself. You're more introverted. Yeah. Um, and so all that to say, like, and therefore stepping out and hanging out with other people has, was, was, I'm getting a lot better now. But it was a lot for me. Uh, just because my social battery was just low. Because. I me. Mean. Yep. <laughs> so yeah that's been a challenging thing and that's kind of the indirect i mean it's not towards you i mean were you looking for a towards you answer or what just the in general like? no just in general oh okay yeah i mean if you got something that's directed you know i mean i mean it's like, been challenging okay uh let me think. uh the tissues <laughs> yeah, <also> <laughs> <laughs> you know those are really uh <laughs> Start to bother me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time. But there's, a, there's something huge I'm not remembering mm -hmm. right now. That's okay. When did you say it? I would say just like the emotional like work it takes to like deeply and correctly, healthily love another person. And like what's added to that for us or what's like foremost in that is like 
you know, being Christ-like. Um, and so if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what would Jesus do <laughs> when you're irritated, you know? Um, or when, you know, you don't have a lot of patience or when you feel like being by yourself and like, you know, your significant other asks you to do something. Um, there's just like, just keep it in a bug. I feel like for us, especially in our circles, this is like general marriage advice. Like that's like nothing special or nothing new. But for a lot of people, like they just don't hold themselves to a standard. And so like, I, I think about, my mind just thought about like things like how we don't argue. And for a lot of people that's like, what? Nah, everybody argue, like everybody fights. But like, no, they don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like legit, like, and we both have examples of that. Um, and it's really sad that people think that because that just goes to show like that, like, I don't mean this in a bad way, but like a lot of people are ignorant to the fact that like there really is a way to have healthy relationships with people. Um, and just because, I mean, a lot of people haven't seen that, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of us don't have examples of what healthy communication looks like, what humility looks like in a relationship. Um, and it's, it's really sad, but, um, all that to say, like, we just are both like already kind of like, you know, the type of people who, I mean, we do this with our friends, you know what I'm saying? Like we're introspective, we work on ourselves and all that good stuff. Um, we actively try to like implement, like, you know, trying to be humble and all these things really just, you know, like live biblically and love people well in our daily life in general. And of course that's only like amplified in your, in, in your marriage, you know what I'm saying? Like if anybody... Um, your spouse is somebody who you should seek every day to be like loving and patient and kind to. I would say though, like good as that sounds, I included that on the challenging part because of course, like you've been in a book, like that's not easy. Mm -hmm. Like I think actually just yesterday, um, I got irritated because of something. Oh, I won't go into explaining all that. <laughs> today I got irritated because of something that we were doing or that he was doing. Um, and it was just, it was something like really little, like he actually was like um, doing something for me around the house, but he asked for my help at one point and I got irritated by that. <laughs> There's more details to this. It was like uh, just one of those moments where I was like challenging myself. Like I was in my flesh, basically, I feel like. And I was just like, why are you? <laughs> I just didn't want to be bothered. Um, and he didn't do nothing wrong and i was just irritated <laughs> so yeah it's like if we're being humble if we're being uh real about it there are those moments communicating feelings oh, gosh while we have done that and have been doing that for years at this still point, don't like it <laughs> it's still something that like yeah we just have to be intentional about you know because um, otherwise we'll be like a lot of couples that just sit on something right for weeks right. days months yeah. years yeah. god forbid <laughs> And don't talk about it. Yep, all of that. Um, we don't want to do that. Don't want to be like that. Um, and so yeah, just communicating those uncomfortable feelings is uh, is key and difficult. That's yeah. been a challenge. Another challenge, which well, the question was the most challenge. Yeah, but it's a big challenge or the most whatever. Yeah, I mean, the most challenge has been sex, though. Yeah, it has. Uh, that's been a lot. So, uh, yeah, which is like a good segue because we actually have like a question about that on here, like on our list, which is just like, what's our sex life been like as a newly married Christian couple? I threw that into the mix because sex for Christians is very packed. As we all know, you know, you got purity culture in the background and you got, you know, the world in the background and those opinions and other cultures, all this stuff. I'm not going to go in detail because that would be a lot mm -hmm. and there will be a lot of context to explain, you know, the history with all of that. Um, but sex has been a challenge for us, like, just because, like, how do I want to explain? Mostly due to me, like, with my body, there is, like, there's been concern that something has been wrong because there's been a lot of pain. And so, been to doctors a couple of times, um, you know, I've had tests done and stuff. And there have been some things ruled out, but in a general sense, uh, keeping it up, very open about it, sex is painful. Um, but yeah, I won't go into too much in detail. Um, and like, we generally, you know, like some people feel like this is the type of thing where people might be like, oh, are you guys doing this? Or you should try this. We've done all the general things, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> using different things and like, you know, making sure to be relaxed, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm also like, I mean, I wasn't a virgin when we got married. Um, so I know in the beginning, you know, in general, like when you first have sex, people can be painful, but this has been all ongoing, you know? I mean, it's consistently 
Um, and so, I mean, I've been to the doctor and I've actually been told that something is wrong. Um, it's just, we've been finding like, you know, trying different solutions, thinking about like physical therapy, lots of different things. Um, and so, but it's just an ongoing process. So that's obviously has come with its challenges. If you want to hear more about that, I uh, totally wouldn't mind being open about the story because one big part of this low key is that like, I mean, you know, without getting like too, I don't want to make the tone of this like too sad, but like, it's hard because you also, when I feel like with stuff like this, people don't talk about it, right? That's still like the hard part. It's like sex in and of itself is taboo, especially if you're religious, especially if you're a woman. And then on top of that, if you struggle, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if something is wrong, if you have a certain condition, like no one is really talking about it. Um, at least, you know, it's not mainstream. It's not conversations happening in most circles. Um, so if you'd be curious to know, don't be ashamed to be like, you know, what's your struggle? Um, how are you handling that? How is that affecting us? If you have, you know, more questions about that, I could do a video on that. Let me know down in the comments. Next. What does dating look like now that we're married? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hate when you call me that. Does anybody else hate when they're like, that's, I don't hate it. That's your name. But like, see, he's being, he's mocking me now. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, because like you know, you don't you, you don't call me by my name, nah. You call me Bay. I'm just trying to be respectful. We say Bay. You're crazy. We're honestly still getting into our swing of like having a consistent like dating routine. Literally, this morning was probably the first time in a while that we like not sat down and had a date because we've had dates, but like I don't know, we're just intentional in terms of like keep checking in with each other, I guess. Which I guess is kind of different than a date. You know, like you check in with each other all the time. It, that's not necessarily a date but for us i would say like we don't have at least right now like a consistent like every friday you know same time every week type date night thing um but we are intentional with it like i feel like we kind of just have been like, at least so far because like i thought sunday morning was our intention with that well yeah it is now you don't like that no more you don't want to do that no more you gotta do another time that's not what i said oh I just, I guess I just was like thinking about like our dates versus like that checking time. Yeah. Like, cause I'm sure like, even though we just established, like, so he's talking about how like today is Sunday and I was saying we got together this morning. That's something we want to start doing just because again, like we'd be so busy. And so it can, it can be so easy throughout the week to just like fly by each other. Right. And know we connect, like we spend time together, we watch movies, we eat dinner. That's not really being intentional. Like, how are you doing? You know, like talking and checking in. So we decided to do that on Sunday mornings, but we still gonna probably go on dates, like actual like other, you know, nighttime dates, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so all that to say, we do have that, the check-ins. Um, and, and other than that, I guess that's a part of our dating life, checking in now. Before that, we kind of just, I mean, we would talk to each other, like, especially if something was wrong, we kind of do that in the moment, you know what I'm saying? So we also like, don't wait until Sunday to address things, but that's just, you know, an intentional to set aside time to talk. Other than that, we kind of just go on sporadic dates, honestly. Like when we think about it, or when we're like, we need to go on a date or like, let's go somewhere. I mean, we like to eat, so mm. that was turned into our dates. <laughs> I want to be more concise. Mm -hmm. I do want to have more of a schedule going there or just a, you know, something that's on the calendar or something like that. We better, date, we, we date every plan, week. We plan better for it. We date every week, watching a, Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Watching and my wife and kids, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eating delicious food. Yeah. That's our that's our love language. That right is our thing. If it ain't nothing else we're gonna do. We gonna you wanna go get some food? But well we eating. <laughs> <laughs> that's all our conversations look like. That's all we talk about. Yeah. That's like literally it. Nothing else. Really not interesting at all. <laughs> How have you seen me grow since being married? Um uh, I would say I've seen you. Uh, wow! Shut up. <laughs> uh, you saying that's all my fault? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, no, uh, <laughs> I have seen you grow, um, just in the willingness to be married. <laughs> As in, <laughs> grow and the willingness to submit. Um, oh. I mean, that is, uh, <laughs> I'm just answering it, you know, genuinely. I've seen you grow in the willingness to do that. Uh, just try, you know, I would say like, 
you know, one day he sat with me, he was like, you know what, baby, let's just lean into it. And let's see what happens, you know. Did I do that? Yes, you did. <laughs> lean into it, let's five, see what I'm happens. <laughs> yeah. uh, and just like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I've seen you do things, more things, like just give yourself more, think of me more. Mm -hmm. That was that was a thing you struggled with way back when. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But over time, I've still, noticed still you think of me better at it. <laughs> more and more yeah. and more. It's really been I'm a really, Yeah, I'm a really slow burn. You know? <laughs> but it's, no, but I feel love now. It's just, yeah, uh, yeah to answer the question. Yeah, it's, uh, I've seen those two things. Mm, that's, that's beautiful. Y'all heard that? You said you feel love now. That feels good to hear that. I thank God for you. I don't mean to be sweet, I'm just busy telling you straight up, mm -hmm. I thank God for you every day, day and year. So, because I recognize that. Recognize what in particular? That you have grown in that, and mm -hmm. just, just who you are now. Mm -hmm. And I yeah, thank God for the fact saying. that I have a person that, who thinks of me and loves me and is kind to me. Um, and I just think it's such a blessing. Thank you, baby. What's happening? It's your turn. Okay. In what ways, um, beautiful wife of mine, Kai, have you seen me grow since we've been married? Can you think of any? Did I remain stagnant? <laughs> it's okay. It's been genuine. It's a real. Ain't that what you be saying on here? It's real. It's a very vulnerable place. I don't want to be fake. <laughs> I don't, it's a very real place. I, it's okay. It's a safe space here on my channel. That, that's what you be saying, right? Anyway, so I'm I feel saying, attacked. Like, that's really funny. What we say is oh, wait, 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 transparency. That's the word. Yeah. That's what we're about. Gotta on this channel. Yeah. Transparency. <laughs> <laughs> I think just watching you continue to be more like have a heart for serving, like. That's something that, I mean, I also like am thankful for, like, and I thank God for with you, like, because I just, that's rare in, to find in a person. And I know that there are people like, especially in like, we have, I think like great, like mentors and great circles of people who actually walk the walk in terms of like following Christ and like trying to be like Christ, you know what I'm saying? And so it's, it, I feel like, you know, it's rare while this yet, yet, while yes, there are people that do that. I feel like you really just like have a heart for that totally more than more than like 98 percent of the men that i've ever met so it's literally yeah it's just it's like i feel like it never gets old to see like pray about like you know what else can i do for you like how else can i just help you like i mean the things that you say is really crazy like the things that you ask and you know just like how else can i serve like you know or whatever and i mean like you literally do that like every day it's like you need anything from me um, what's on your plate, I can help with some of it, I can take some of that off, you know. I mean, I just be like living life and you just be like, what can I do to make the life easier for you? You know, you just like, that's your posture. Um, and so while I would say that you were like that, being married, which is something I expected, cause again, like this guy has always been like, he's always had that desire to like be a husband and to do that well. Um, but seeing, seeing, I guess that lived out like it's still I still kind of get like I don't know what the word is butterflies not necessarily butterflies I guess it's deeper than that though like I still get kind of astonished that like I'm with somebody who actually lives their life like that and not you know fakely not like you know it's not in a toxic way you know what I'm saying but like if you know you know like Jesus really does empower us to do some amazing things and to to really just I mean be like him you know um and so like knowing that that's where you get your motivation from I know that it's true you know like you really have a heart to uh just live out the way like live out our marriage the way like Jesus would call it to be and so that's been like seeing you be intentional again like asking those questions like what can I do how can I be more this how can I be more that like that embodies so much of your time and like what we talk about and so yeah I would say that's how I've just seen just become more and more desirous to serve crazy to watch and be on the receiving end right because I mean if you're like unless you're a butthole <laughs> you know that would inspire you to do the same like that would just make that makes me be like 
I got to you know, or if there's any time that I ever was like, you know, even like, that makes me think of like housework. Like if there's any time that I ever felt like I was doing a lot, like very few times that I, would I ever feel irritated? Like, I feel like it's impossible. Like with somebody like you, like, and just in marriage, like in general, kind of speaking to you guys, like there's going to be times like, right. I mean, like it could be days worth. It could be a couple weeks worth where one person might be doing one particular thing and they might feel like they want some help from their partner. I feel like if you choose the right person, man, I mean, there's like no way that I could ever say that we're unequally yoked because like I think about certain things, right? Like certain things that I guess I might particularly do like cooking or um, cleaning certain things. It's like when I think about it in a general sense, like if I'm humble enough to realize like everything else that you do, you know what I'm saying? There's no way that I could take that for granted and be and feel selfishly like slighted you know that would be inconsiderate of everything that you do on a regular basis mm. um so yeah if i do then i'm able to like check myself and be like remember things like this this weekend or even like leading up to marriage like there was a point at which <laughs> this out <laughs> in case she keeps it in this is the tissue. <laughs> tissue even before we were married like he was doing things for me that like i couldn't repay like you know what i'm saying in terms of like just wanting to feel like i was like contributing as much you know like i was down bad in terms of like where i was at financially he was paying my bills and like being with me and just helping out in a whole bunch of ways. He was like paying bills of mine and just helping out in like so many ways and I couldn't like, I was broke. <laughs> so um, yeah, there was just a lot of ways that I was like going into this. I was like, I know that this is somebody who will never count favors, who will never um, be selfish or like take me for granted, honestly. Um, and so it was just, yeah, that's been the undertone is that we, know that we have someone who wants to um, serve, you know, the other person just as much as we do, like unwillingly and counts that as just a part of like this being our walk that we, as we walk as spouses with Jesus in the midst. About uh, 20 different tissues in there. You know how black women carry a purse and there's anything they need to Last question. <laughs> That's her pocket for Gosh. tissues. Last question that we have is, in what ways are you grateful that you married the person you did? All right, so check me out. We thought we would end it on a really nice note. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, personally... Even though we've been sopping over each other the entire video. Can I talk? Sorry. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, this is my best friend, y'all. Uh, you know, bestest... Now, honestly, we were... I'm sorry. Bestest friend. I'm just talking louder and louder. Uh, my bestest friend... You know, uh, we make each other laugh. Clearly. Yeah. Uh, great sense of humor, that one. Um, yeah. We just vibe well, enjoy each other's time, like each other. You know, I just, I think she's beautiful. You know, I'm just so grateful for that. On top of being grateful that, you know, that she's growing, you know. At the end of the day, we're still growing. How to love someone better, you know. Mm -hmm. How to serve someone better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're just growing. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, this this isn't even the apex. You know, this this love that we have for each other isn't even the apex. It's like, we're just chugga chugga choo choo. <laughs> uh, ain't that the sound roller coaster we make? All right. You know, when we ain't going, you know, like, it's just... Like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you move on right. from this analogy? All right, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. So I can't go. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's why I'm grateful, man. I just love this person so much. Best his friend, you know. It's my wife. It's my other half. It's very grateful. That's my answer to the question. <laughs> How am I supposed to follow that up? Uh... You talk. You talk a lot anyway. I feel like you. you can, you can well, uh, talking a lot and like saying sweet things. We just came to this realization. I mean, like I, I can say sweet things, but that's your forte. <laughs> yeah, you like. <laughs> we did talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Can't match match you, your energy. I mean, I can. I think it's just much harder for you. <laughs> I don't know what. 
why it's so hard. I don't know if you like if you were busting in tears or, or what. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing tears. I just can't take nothing serious. Ah. Uh, I feel like I that's don't know, one of the ways I'm not great. <laughs> that wasn't the question. My fault. That wasn't, that wasn't the question. Oh goodness. I'm grateful partially. I feel like because of like the stuff that I just talked about, and just I mean like I feel like that honestly comes up under though your character in the general sense. So like what I was talking about before, just like your heart to love me well. Um, but then just like in a general sense, like I talked about this at our wedding. So we did our own little vows. And I think this will forever be my favorite person about you because it is so rare to find in men. Like if somebody just like always asks me like, why did I marry you? Or like if there were a question like this, I feel like every time it's gonna be your character because like it's a lot of people like, so when I think, when I think about the things that define our marriage, like our sense of humor, like you said, or like things we like to do together, having things in common, like eating, eating, those things are great, but you can find that in a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? But what you can't find, and I hate to say it, but like, I feel like most people know, like in, with guys, like a guy who really is a good character and a guy who um, is like, seeks to be patient, seeks to love the Lord, like, you know, is on fire for the Lord themselves. So you know what I'm saying? Like who cares to um, read their Bible, who cares to um, like communicate well, who cares to just, you know, be knowledgeable about certain things, have emotional intelligence, like just a lot of things. Who cares to be kind? Who cares about other people? Who goes out of their way, right, um, to do so? Like, that's just, you know, and unfortunately, like to want somebody who like is also attractive, who <laughs> does that, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, it's just, it's not, you know, it's not a lot of use out here. You know, we just said that you weren't good with words, but I take that back. She was gassing me up earlier in the video too. So no, I, give me, give yourself your flowers. You, 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 you good with words. Thank you, baby. I feel very appreciated. Good. Phew. All right. <laughs> well, yep. There you go. That's that's it. You know, that's all we got. I hope that was enjoyable. I hope that um, honestly, I always hope that like with stuff like this, we inspire some people. Hope that we can be a good example to some people. Don't be a stranger. Uh, leave a comment because as you know, we're obviously cultivating a community over here. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's so annoying. I'll see you guys next week because, you know, we've been consistent. We've been popping on the channel. So, yeah. <laughs> Say bye, babe. Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs> bye.